guys in this video i am giving information related to the one of the best invention in the medical field to us which is nothing but the nano robots nano robots the word itself indicating nano means tiny small or any microscopic object and robots are nothing but the computerized machines for a certain work let's go ahead our ppt contents are introduction to the robotics what are the nano robotics how nano robots work powering to nano robots entry and the navigation in the body nano robots in the treatment disadvantages and the conclusion let's go ahead so guys when you hear the term robotics the first word comes in our mind is nothing but the robots so guys what do you think what are the robots actually are robots are nothing but the mechanical agent which can be programmed or guided by the computer for certain job they are kind of machines which can be programmed and told to do a specific job which they are capable of they are ranging from small tiny machines to the large crane size constructions and the science which is related to the construction programming and the other related to robots is nothing but the robotics Nanorobotics. Nanorobotic is the technology of creating machines or a robot at or close to the microscopic scale of the nanometer. They are generally of size less than your hair to as most as big as the capsule. Nanorobots are the devices ranging in the size from 0.1 to 10 micrometer. They would work at the atomic, molecular, and the cellular level to perform in both the medical and industrial field also. Let's see how nanorobots work. They are made up of carbon atom in the diamond structure and the element such as hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen etc. When the nanorobots implant in our bloodstream, they detect the cause of the disease and provide the dose of medication directly to the infected area. In the medical stream, firstly for treating any diseases, doctor decides the disease and detect the cause and then they program the nanorobots to implant the medication to that part so they are injected in that person or a patient by intravenous route or sometimes it gets swelled because some robots are of size of capsule so how nanorobots work the picture is shown in front of you contains the structure of nanorobots actually at the one end, they contain the micro camera, which shows the image inside our body to the outside the computer. So can the operator detect the place or a position in, of nano robot in our body and get the navigation and give the navigation to it. Also, at the middle, it contains the payload, that is medication, which it has to introduce to the infected area. Or some nano robots, which are used as a surgical purpose, they contains the instrument, tiny instrument for the surgery after that behind it it contains a capacitor for the energy production so can it move in our body at the end it contains a swimming tail which is for the swimming in our body fluids such as limb and blood so how powering is powering in nanorobot is actually medical nanorobots was inside the person could on glucose take from the bloodstream they also create a chemical reaction with the blood to burn it for the energy. Capacitor which has large power and the weight ratio can also be used. They will have simple computer which perform 1000 or fewer computation per second. The communication with the nanorobots can be achieved by the barcode type signaling. So guys. Let's see how the entry and the navigation to the nanorobots inside our body is done. One can use the ultrasonic signals to detect the nanorobots location and they direct it to the right destination. The signals would either pass through the body, reflect back to the source of the signals or both. The nanorobot could emit the pulses of ultrasonic signals which could detect using special equipment with the ultrasonic sensors. Using magnetic resonance imaging that is MRI devices, doctor could locate the track of the nanorobot by detecting its magnetic field. Doctors might also track the nanorobots by injecting a radioactive dye into the patient bloodstream. Other method of detecting the nanorobot includes using X-rays, radio waves, magnet microwaves or heat. 
How nanorobots are used in treatment? Treating the diseases such as arteriosclerosis in which the nanorobots are used in the condition for cutting away the plaque which further enter in the bloodstream and eliminate it through the body. By treat for treating the cancer patient, treating cancer in which the nanorobot could either attack the tumor cells directly using lasers or the ultrasonic signals to kill them. Also, sometimes it delivers the medication directly to the cancer site. Nanorobots can also be used in breaking large kidney stones using the ultrasonic technique. In such diseases like gout, where in which the kidney loses the ability to remove the waste, sometimes the waste are deposited near the joints due to which patient suffers from joint pain. Nanorobot could break up the deposited crystal at the joint and provide the relief from symptoms such as joint pain. Nanorobots could travel to the blood clot and break it up and it must be able to remove the blockage without losing a small piece in the bloodstream. So like this way every device has some advantages it also has some disadvantages also. Terrorists can program nanorobots for dangerous work and mix them with our food. Once they are go into our body they can take control of our mind and haven't control on our body and that time the terrorist can do any work from that person. Nanorobot particles would penetrate living cells and accumulate in the animal organ and can perhaps enter in the food chain and because of this food chain may be interrupted. Nano implantation could adjust the human DNA structure. They may cause environmental hazard. The, design, the designing cost is very high and the design is complicated one. So from this video we concluded that the nanorobots are used in heart surgery. Due to this number of risk and side effects behind is reduced. The same technique is used in various treatments like cancer, breaking kidney stones, parasitic removal only with slight modification. Within 10 years, several adv advancement technologies should be made from these nanorobotics. Thanks for watching our video.